Welcome to the Oberti Sullivan YouTube channel. Ed, the company calls us and says, you know, we were trying to do the right thing and pay overtime, but golly, how do you calculate uh, overtime? What's the answer to that question? Well, the answer essentially depends if you owe someone overtime and didn't pay it to them. The answer is it depends on how you paid them in the first place. What was your compensation scheme to begin with? If the person was an hourly employee, well, it's real easy to figure out. It's a $10 hour employee, you own $15 of overtime for every hour worked over 40. Um, another question is, well, what if he was on a day rate, or what if it was commission only? In general, but not always, that's calculated what they call halftime. You don't need a lawyer to talk to you about what that means, but it's significantly less, it's not as much as you would normally think it would be. Then you get into the trouble of what happens if you've misclassified a salaried employee as exempt. There are really two ways, um, and some courts have invented even a third way, of calculating uh, back wages to misclassified employees on a salary. It's very complex. The swings are different and they're subject to different legal rules. But at one end of the spectrum, the employee would be paid what they call time and a half, which could result in a lot of money going to that employee's way. And on other occasions, it would be at half time. And you should really consult a lawyer um, who understands overtime law to figure out exactly how and when those rules apply. 